Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland neighbor, bringing you the floor today, June 12th in all Upland cities. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button right now. And yes, good job if you did it. All right, I wanted to show you guys a brief little snap of what it looks like to have carts. So here's my little cart racing in Upland. I'm not going to show you too much because, you know, it's not that different from racing with cars. But that's what my cart looks like. That's what I won from going to Genesis Week. That's what you could have had, and that's what's on sale in some asset markets. So, if you're looking to get yourself a cart, they are going for around, well, what I've seen is some people posting $250, 400,000 Upix, um, around that price. So, maybe you've seen lower. Let me know what you guys have seen. And if you're interested in buying my cart, DM me. I might be willing to sell it. I just. I'm not in a rush to sell it, but if I get a good enough offer, an offer I cannot refuse, then I might just take it. Um, as far as the floor goes, it's looking like things are going back down from the Los Angeles to Staten Island side, but on the other side, Ar Arlington and London side, not too shabby. Um, Berlin now has dollars USD property selling, wedding area, um, some other areas in the $5 range. You can see it's quite um quite low in fact there's some under mints even in wedding i'm a little bit sad about that because i personally put in at least twenty dollars to go mint i think even maybe forty dollars to go mint and wedding um the day of the opening because um i only had like 22 you know you know what i think i only put in twenty dollars so i had like Upland gave me some upics, so I ended up with like 40,000 something upics, and I minted two properties and then someone's like, you got them into third one, you know you need three, because that's the collection, three in one city. So I was like, okay, so I went and got $20 and put it in, minted another property and wedding for like 20 something K upics, and now they're selling for like $6. So imagine my, uh, you know, imagine how I feel. $6, I could have bought like you know, a lot more um, <laughs> properties, at least two other properties, you know, three properties, 18 bucks, like, yeah, like, you know, I could have done that for $18, I could have had three if I just held out. So sometimes it just shows you minting maybe is not all that is cracked up to be sometimes. Maybe it is better just to wait for execs to start selling if you don't like for sure hit an area that's like heavily speculated upon like of course if you hit something you think it's going to be a collection then you're not going to go sell it for six dollars but clearly they don't think wedding is going to be a collection i actually do think wedding has a chance i don't know why but i just think that upland might like the name of that neighborhood enough to make it a collection it just might be a one-off you never know so i am not going to sell my properties Obviously, I couldn't even make my money back if I sat on the USD side right now. So, not gonna do that. Not gonna do it. Um, but looking elsewhere, Santa Clara has some tempting properties. I'll tell you, the $17 range isn't bad, but there's like a few. I think there's like a, a collection, not too much more, and I think it's like 20 bucks. It's tempting to get those collections in Santa Clara because it's really fun to hunt there. And London is, you know, London's fun, but. Who knows, maybe one day I'll go back to Santa Clara and hunt there too. But anyways, I think uh, it's sad to see Manhattan just sitting there and going down on the dollar side. Up excited, I'd love to see come back over to 100000 But we'll see what happens. But those $32 Manhattan sitting there, those are tempting, tempting for me to grab as well. Um, Las Vegas is a place that has a few different racetracks um, or racetrack people that I know living in a lot or, you know, basing their games out of Las Vegas. So I think Las Vegas is in the area that, you know, 9,000 Upix isn't bad, but it was fairly expensive when you that city hit. $4.93 on the dollar side is kind of low. Um, but I think, you know, getting into Vegas, we do have, uh, you know, racetracks here and NASCAR and all that other stuff, all the racetrack stuff. Um, one day, if, if that starts getting into the game, you never know. These Las Vegas properties might really be valued way more than what they are now. So, might be a good time to get you some Vegas. Who knows? Anyways, I think we'll be seeing Tokyo within the next few months. I think within two months, maybe even shorter, we'll see Tokyo. I don't know. Some people are wanting to push it back, but I don't think Upland's going to do that. Um, I don't think it's going to be like a four-month-out process. I think it's going to be fairly soon. So we'll see what happens, but I'm excited for Tokyo. You guys let me know if you're excited too. 
Um, and then I'll call it a night. By the way, I'm going to be traveling, so I will be probably unable to post um, coming up here shortly. I'll let you guys know, but I'm thinking chances are... Chances are June June 17th through the 22nd, so like a five-day break for me. Or what is that? Around that. Um, I think I'll be taking that. I'm going to be traveling and doing some road tripping, and I don't think I'm going to be able to record and do the floor. I will try my best, and if I'm able, I'll do it. But if not, you guys know I'll be taking a break. If you're watching, I'm taking a break. I'll be taking a break. My first vacation after over a year, really, actually taking a break from doing the floor. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, that's it. <laughs> Fair warning to you guys. Happy hunting. I'll see you guys in Upland.